Yo, what is up guys? Back with another video for you guys on the channel and today this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a tips and tricks video on teaching you guys how to fight against other pro players and teaching you guys how to become a better overall player and just becoming a better fighter because you know me, I've been playing this game for like four years now and I've always been known as one of the best fighters on the region. A lot of people have been asking me how to become better at fighting this and that mechanically this way. I'm gonna teach you guys in this video using my new map on the screen right here. Use this map code. I'm gonna be playing against P God. You guys know he's in Dignitas too. He's one of my boys, so I'm gonna be playing against him and teaching you guys how to become better fighters while playing on my new map, which also helps me become a better fighter because I always practice on this map. So let's just get into this video and let's go. All right, guys. So I just played P God in a 1v1. I'm gonna break down analysis on how to fight, become better, and what I was thinking to take my opponent down on this map. Go check out this map, please. It's a goaded ass map. It's like a Christmas theme, 1v1 storm speed realistic map. It's fun. It's a fun map. I'm not gonna lie, I had a blast on this map. And I just wanna show you guys how to become better at fighting. So here we go let's start playing the clips so first you spawn in you have to box up i want to box up here and i want to pop my bush i have a bush right here make sure i have my bush pop and you see how i'm backing up here i don't know how p god plays i've never fought him before i want to learn my opponent's play style and how he plays right so first i'm backing up and editing and resetting a lot of my builds that's a mechanic that a lot of good players use is where they edit make make it seem like you can shoot them and instantly scroll wheel reset or edit their wall so the other player thinks that they can shoot you but they're shooting your wall instead and you get a free shot on them because they're not thinking that right so first i back up and i'm looking around and I get up. I want to use Mantling to get up. Mantling is incredibly broken, if you didn't know, because on the other person's screen, they don't even see you by the time you can shoot them. So I want to be Mantling and looking for height. I'm looking for height, I'm on a wall. I stood there on the wall for a second to see if he was gonna shoot me, didn't shoot me, so I get out. And I look for a side jump to get space to look for a high ground music, right? I mess it up, it's fine. I go back up, make another high ground. I see him on my back. I get up on height, I cone him. I look for some piece here, and he's below me. So I'll have my gun out. He's on my wall and he has a double enemy. You need to have fast reaction time. When you see someone have a double on you, you know instantly they're gonna double and try to shoot you. So right away I edit my cone and I get box here, right? So I instantly turn around to see where he is. He's in my box. He shoots the stair I was just holding in my box. If you didn't see right there, I had a cone. I edited the cone to get out, he walled me in. I held a stair, I placed the stair after he's spraying it. He breaks the stair, so I turn around and I pump him. I get a free shot up. And right away, he edits that floor, that stair, and I instantly go hide in this corner. I hit in the corner to make sure I don't get shot. And he edits again, and I have the first shot on it. I miss because he resets the stair. So I get out, make a better angle, put a cone in the box, make sure I piece, and he's a free kill. Little window edit, little window edit. So next round, I get up on height, and I try to look for some piece. So right here, he gets a thing on me. But I get out and I, now I place a wall so I edit so he can't block me and I make space instantly. Make space and I go up, right? I get up, I have a wall on him. He didn't even know I had a window there. I had a wall, I had pre-wall place there. I get ahead and you guys have to understand I'm not the fastest mechanical player. I'm not this guy that uses editor on release quick and creative. I'm a slow, I mean not really slow I would say, but I'm very, I play very methodical. You know what I'm saying? That's a big word. Okay. I don't even know what it means, but to be honest, it means that I'm a stinker while I'm fighting. I think and I make plays according to what's happening, right? I don't just do this and that. I don't just free build. Sometimes you do get PC, you want to go for a triple edit clip, but when you're actually trying to learn how to fight in, in an actual game, you want to be thinking of what your opponent will be doing. You want to predict their placement and what they're going to do. That's all Fortnite is. It's thinking what the other player will be doing. So I'm thinking the entire time, this guy's going to go here. What is he going to edit? Where is he going to go? And of course, sometimes zero ping is a big factor into fighting and zero ping is definitely something that a lot of people complain about now because any central ping, but at the end of the day, a lot of players, you can always outplay a player no matter what ping they're on. And one of the most important mechanics in this game is shooting in pain wall breaks. When someone pickaxes your wall and you pre-fire them in between the wall breaks. So let's say they're trying to replace your wall. They smack it and you shoot them in between. The split second, they break it. So you get a free shot off through the wall and they place their wall and they get hit. You see, I grapple up, I my grappler i instantly pull my gun that's another mechanic if you don't know how to use that you need to learn this mechanic right when you pull out your grappler and you left click you switch to your gun so you, you see how my button on the bottom right for my gold spaz is three so right when i left click my grappler i click three at the same time when i'm left clicking so it pulls out my gun while i'm grappling that's how the mechanic works i heal up making sure i'm 200 hp so i don't get 200 pump. i get below him i put a cone and i knew he was gonna edit out right i get a side jump and he doesn't even know he thought i was on the ramp i get a side jump and i get a free pump off with him not even knowing that i was there so now I box up again, a little shit talk going on. So I get out. 
You see, I have some peace. I don't know where he's at. I'm just trying to, I'm just building all, I'm just, I'm just free building basically. And right there, you see that? Right away, I see him instantly edit and I'll get a shot off and I'll edit my comb towards him. So he cannot get a shot on me and I'll be able to get out getting a free shot in, right? So I get out, I make more space and you see how peace and just in case he comes here and wants to jump and get on on me, I have a cone here just in case, right? He's not there, so I keep going on place another cone and I see how zone is coming in. This map is a realistic map. This map, it's like an in-game fight. It's like you're you're fighting and there's a storm on you and you have the realistic loot of what's gonna happen in, in the actual in-game fight. And this is how you become better at fighting. You need to play this map against your friends and, and learn what I'm teaching you guys because I really wanna help my viewers and my supporters to get better at this game. You guys know I have other tips and trick videos on this channel already and teaching you guys how to get better at my geoing, fragging, and now I wanna teach you guys mechanically and how to become a better fighter in in game right so I'll, I'll make some space and i'll look at where he's at right so i go for another side jump i love my side jumps i see you one below me and i'll mantle mantle pump him place a floor and i'll try to get out right i'm looking just choking on my heads it's fine i'll heal up and i hear him fall to low ground so he has no mats right i shouldn't take fall i don't know why it took me fall but you see i flopper so i'm gonna play zone here this is like a solo cash up. You want to play zone in a 1v1. Right here, play zone. I'm healing in zone. I pump him, cracked him. I want to pop this flopper and look for a kill on him. My gun had to reload right here, by the way. This is what killed me. This is a bug that they need to take out. I had 30 by 60 and it kills me. Because I had to reload my gun. That was actually unfortunate. It's whatever it happens. Next fight, I have a cone on him. I get, I have height already, right? And I want to make sure that I, I take my, I use my high ground to my advantage. You saw I have a cone, boom. That is peace. You guys need to, they don't even teach you this shit. Look at this. This is what you call a map out. The enemy doesn't know he's in. What I see a lot of players do in this situation is that when the other player has his map out, they'll go for a box here. So like, let's say they have a wall on him. They'll go for a full box here. But what can this guy do? This guy in that situation, when you're going for a box and trying to build, he can shoot you above this peanut butter. All you have to do is shoot like I am. Look at this. I shoot instantly and I know right away he's going to run around. So I wall. I'll have some peace here. I'll have this wall on him. He's stuck here, right? But I'm behind my pinnacle so he can't fuck with me. And I'll grab the edit, edit to see if he was there. Because if he didn't play a ramp, he was still here. I would have put a cone and killed him. But he goes up. I've coned him anyway. And I'll go up here. You see how I place a cone above me? That That's mechanics right there. Right here, placing a cone right above me to make sure that I don't get boxed right here, right? So right here, cone edit. And I place a wall and another cone edit both to make sure I don't get boxed. And I take height here. And he's trying to be boxed, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll take a left angle peek just to be able to reset it. Take a right angle here, just chill. I see him edit, 30 white, right? You see how my wall, and now he's running at me. So I go up, I make more space. I reset the floor so he's forced to shoot and he's dead to fall damage because he has no more max. But I played that incredibly, incredibly perfect. So I'll go outside here and I'll get on height, I'll take height. I see zone is coming in from me. I mean, I see where the zone is top right. So I'll start building ahead, right? Where zone is, right? Zone, he's going for some peace on me. So I'll take height and I'll try to get some peace, right? He's trying to jump in. So I'll place a wall there and I'll have a good angle peak. Don't edit too early because you don't want to get shoot. So you see how he, I knew he had a wall on me, place a cone and I edit it. So he, he gets above, he gets above me there, gets me a tag, but I heal back up and I, I try to flip my ramp and my wall to get on height, I mantle, and I know he's in a mantle again. He's in a mantle here, right? This is the most obvious mantle play. It looks like he has no mats the way he's playing. The way he's in a mantle, but he just mantles over. I knew he was gonna do that. But you see how mantling is so stupid and broken? I knew he was gonna do it, but he still did it, and he, it didn't even look like he was on my stream. So the way I could have played that better is taking height better and looking for a better angle, but it's whatever it happens, right? I box up. He takes my wall first try. I'm looking. I have my gun out to see if he goes for it, but he doesn't. I have a wall peace everywhere to see if he's gonna come around and peace box me so i box up and i get a pretty that's what i want to teach you guys this is the most important thing i swear to god look at that shot that i just did on him he couldn't do anything in this situation this is what counters zero ping players and this is what happens when you're a 50 ping player this is the number one thing right here gun out He's smacking 150. You see how he takes it in between the wall break. And now I just need my gun out and I win the trade because I'm 200 HP no matter what. If he wants to edit this, I'll kill him 100%, right? So 
So I'm gonna out, I take it back, edit, and then he's done. That is what I wanna teach you guys and tell you guys how to get better at this game. That is the number one thing that helps a player is, is that right there. That in between wall break shot, teaching guys how to do that will just elevate your fighting. But um, I mean, people ask me if I do any edit courses, I don't. You have to understand, you don't need fast mechanics to be a good fighter. And also you have to understand in game, when you're in a tournament, the servers are not gonna be the same as creative. It's not gonna be as fast and responsive as creative, right? So you need to be playing slow and smart in fights, seeing what your opponent will do and seeing what you can do to counter your opponent. And of course, sometimes you mess up, you'll choke and edit and you'll get caught. That's why you don't wanna be predictable. Let's say I have, I have a guy in a box, right? And he has one wall. Where do you think he will go out? He'll edit out and try to get at that wall. So you know what I'll do? I'll have a box already pre-placed for that wall. So why are you guys still going through that? Break out a different way to see if you're seeing him pre-piece you, you wanna get out, you wanna change your angles and become unpredictable. That is how you will become a better fighter in this game. Nobody in this game is gonna be the same. Everyone in this game is different. So you wanna be smart in your fighting. Of course, you wanna make sure you hit your edits, your aim it has to be on point. But mechanically, all you have to do is make sure you're not, you're not getting pieced. That's it. You don't let other people get walls on you, cones on you. Make sure you're holding the height correctly. And things like that will allow you to become a better fighter. And the way I've gotten better is by playing this map. So please go check it out right here on the code. And hope you guys enjoyed this video and love you guys.